beautiful people. I'm standing outside right now um, to do this review, so I hope the sound is okay. Um, yeah, because she's too big, I have, yeah, I've got the kitchen table, but the kids are at home, so uh, I needed a space where I can show you the painting in full glory. Oh my God, she is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the rendering of this one. So this is called A Mermaid by John William Waterhouse. It is a painting that he painted in 1900. So this one is a public domain. And I had it custom made at Dreamer Designs. Um, first, they sent me an email to tell me like, no, we cannot do this, this is copyrighted. So I sent them a mail back, said, no, 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 this is public domain. Here is where I got this painting from, yada, yada, yada. So they said, okay, then we will start processing this. But um, have you considered to um, do a bigger size because that would be best for the rendering? So I think at the website you can go to 60 by 80 at the most, I don't know exactly. But anyway, they said, yeah, this will be best at uh, 100 by 80. So I was like, <laughs> if you must, okay, okay, I trust your uh, artistic uh, know-how, I don't know. So... Um, yeah, they said, okay, 80 by 100, I had to pay an additional 10 euros, I believe. And so here is the result and I'm over the moon. It is absolutely, the rendering is perfect. She looks, it, it is very, very similar to the painting, like her face. Look at her, her face, oh my God, and the red hair and the sea, how the sea is flowing, the waves, and there you have her jewels and the rocks down there. It's, it is, I, <laughs> I was speechless when I did um, take a photograph. I was like, oh my God, this is, yeah. So really, really good rendering. I'm totally totally happy um, about the drills so I've got um, let's put you that way I've got plenty of drills left although I ran out of uh, two colors in fact so one color I had to take from my own stash because um, yeah it was just too many to be able to change it up with another color for the second color, it was like four or five drills, so I just put in another color that was pretty similar. So yeah, I know um, normally when you have a problem like this, you can always... Um, oh, there's an ant on, on my painting. Eh, go away, go away. <laughs> so, um, sorry. <laughs> That's what you have when you put it outside. Um, so normally you should just let them know and they would be happy to send you the color. Because of course uh, they have got a, a warranty. Um, a oopsie, oopsie doopsie, I left my oopsie daisy. I, I dropped my drills. Uh, that kind of warranty so um, but I didn't want to bother I was like I've got stash enough and I just pulled it from my own stash but for the other colors I've got plenty 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 of colors left Whoop! scary oh so yeah anyways <laughs> I don't know if you saw it I, I just saw it but it was too fast uh, it was a uh, F16 they call it I don't know so anyways I put in some um, AB so I have got those two colors and then I put in also for four five fifty I put in some ABs so those are the ABs that I put in um, the drills were a bit staticky well a bit some of them just 
<laughs> it's so funny. Have you ever had that that, that they, you pour your drills in your tray and and they like jump everywhere? It's like an explosion inside your tray. Well, that was the. I think it's just a static. It was really fun to see, but also really annoying. So I put in some um, of these uh, washing pearls. They call it. I think like uh, they. You can put it in your laundry in your washing machine um but um that does not really do the tr the trick i would suggest that you use um how's it called again uh dryer sheets but um yeah i managed to work my way through it and all was well in the end and then you've got um the trash so you, you could say like, oh, this is an enormous amount of trash, but nothing is more untrue because, of, as a matter of fact, this is a painting 80 by 100. So for a painting this size, that trash is absolutely normal, nothing to be worried about. Um, let me show you the placement of the ABs. So the ABs, I put them mainly in the tail so there I put three three colors of ABs and then I put some in the oyster shell over there because I I was convinced this is an oyster shell so <laughs> I put some uh, ABs there because that's always shiny and then I put some ABs in her eye, right there. And I think this gives her like a beautiful effect for her eyes. The melancholy. She really looks so beautiful. So, yes, 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 I'm absolutely thrilled with this one. The process, however, I'm going to be honest, uh, at the end, I was tired of it. I was like, uh, because, uh, of course, I ended um, on the top. So as long as I was doing her face and her hair, I was like, okay, that's okay. But then you've got that, that um, cave there and you can see the sea behind it and it all looks really wonderful like wow oh it looks absolutely beautiful but it was really whew, very 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 confetti heavy very like and here at the bottom oh my lord so yes that's why i decided to do a round one now for a change <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> oh, those squares. <laughs> um, so now, um, thank you for voting, guys. Thank you so, so much. Um, the one that has won, unless uh, all of a sudden I've got more votes for other diamond paintings, the last, the last time I checked, it was voted for... There was a vote for uh, Howling Wolf, so that's the one that I will be doing next. Howling Wolf, um, artist is Sarah Richter, diamond painting from Diamond Painting Deutschland, and rounds. And lots of lots of lots of color blocking because it's on a black background and I'm super excited to be able to do that one. So um, if you want to stay tuned for that, stay tuned hit the subscribe button down there to subscribe even better and you can hit the bell next to it to get a notification when i put up another video and give me a thumbs uh listen why why <sighs> give me a thumbs up on your way out <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will be back soon, I promise. Thank you so much. Bye.